Hello. So I'm going to demonstrate the new programming for the Hewlett Iron Ore Unloader model. Down here is uh, all the electronics and um, controller stuff. That wire that's coming out of here goes uh, leads to my computer, connects my computer to that programmer. So uh, yeah, just finished programming some stuff. Um, this is the interface that's going to be used to set parameters like when the Hewlett's going to start, when it's going to stop, um, uh, how many number of runs n that it's going to run before a delay. So think of it as, you know, it's going to run n cycles and then delay a certain period of time. So uh, the first thing you do after turning it on or plugging it into the wall would be um, setting the time, the current time. So the current time in hours we're going to set as a uh, well, Windows on this computer over here says it's 903 so I'm going to put 903 in with these keys here. So I press up to increase, down to decrease and uh, it rolls over when you press down when it's zero. So it's 21 press select to confirm. So I just confirmed yeah, it's 2103. Okay, confirming. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Okay, so um, setting the starting hour. That's when it's going to start. The time of day it's going to start anyway. Um, so yeah, let's just have it go all day for now. So it's going to start at midnight, <laughs> and let's have it end at a minute before midnight. 2359. Okay, so now we have to set the uh, length of the delay in minutes. So let's have it let's have it delay just one minute. And let's have let's have it run twice before it delays. And then it'll run twice again after the delay period is up. So yeah, that's good. So uh, this is what it's going to show. Uh, while it's running, it's going to display the current time, the status of the of the thing, Hewlett. Um, it's going to also display the start time and stop times so you put in, and also the delay and the number of runs per delay. And, uh, and that's it. So now it's everything's set. Let's uh, tell it to go. You see right here, there's the on LED indicator. There's a reset controller button just in case something goes wrong. Sometimes it comes in handy. And this is the on and off toggle push button. Let's push it to make it go. There it goes. It's totally going. Let's scoop up some of that good old iron ore out of that ship there. And, uh, you know, Go back here, that's the limit switch that tells it when to stop. Bam, just hit the limit switch. It's releasing all that wonderful iron ore. And it's doing the second run. Going down, going to get some more of that. <laughs> Those cocoa pebbles there. And there it goes. Hits the switch, releases the iron ore. There's also limit switches in the arm that tell it when to go up and down, and also uh, the claw when it's opened and closed. Okay, so now it says that we're idle, on and idle, because we went for a minute. Um, so now it's waiting for a whole minute until it starts again. So uh, it's going to be sometime during 2107, probably. Let's step back, get a good view of that when it starts going again. Just a matter of waiting now. Is there anything else worth showing? Um, look at all this wonderful code I've been writing. Wonderful code. And any minute now, start running again.
There it goes. Well, it's running some more. It's going to do another two runs before another delay. So let's say we want to stop it. Let's press that button. So now it's stopped. See the indicator says it's off. You know, the button is actually physically down. It stays there. Toggles kind of like a, you know, real emergency stop button, but it's much more small and can handle large currents. So now it's it's just sort of stopped there. Um, so you want it to park after it starts up after that. So that's how it's coded up to do that. Um, so now it's just going to park. It's not going to not going to run again until it hits the switch and you know sets itself in its default state. So there we go. Now it's running again. And I think that's a good demonstration. In fact, let's show a demonstration of the reset button too. So I press the reset button and it's reset. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. And we're done.